Hello, party people in Zoom. Hello. Good to see everybody. Hey. Or at least see everybody's some videos and a lot of names and uh, and images at least. Not everybody's on camera, but that's okay. Uh, Kathy, I see Kathy and Melissa on. Kathy, did you, did you Melissa's on board there? So you, they, you, they got they met down uh, down in uh, Naples and we did an open house down there. So we're all over we're all over the place. So awesome. awesome. Hey, I'm here too, we're Shane, but I can't talk because I'm on the I'm driving. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> don't be don't be uh, distracted driving unless you unless you have autopilot. You can't be doing that. So. No, no autopilot today. <laughs> Uh, not, no comment. No comment. I'm not going to say hey, how much. Shane, how, this yeah. is Rebecca. Can you see me? I can. Hi. I just want to know you showed up today. How about that? I'm I'm excited about that. I am too. Yeah, absolutely. So we got a couple couple little minutes left to see how many more folks jump on. So somebody's phone's going off. That's not in the room. So that's okay. We'll just dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Just to cut while everybody else is kind of jumping on, I'll just kind of tell you guys a little bit. So I know the uh, email came out. It sounded a little ominous about, um, you know, all hands on deck and, and back agents going to be eliminated. And everybody's probably we, 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 we had to get your attention or else people wouldn't wouldn't uh, wouldn't bother to jump into the to the call. So but it's nothing that drastic. It's nothing that uh, earth shattering. So you guys are going to be fine. It's just really I'm going to show you everything, but it really comes down to just a different link that you're going to use. Everything is going to work pretty much the same, but you're not going to be able to get there using the same web page that you used before. So it's going to be important that you know you you know where to go. We're going to be you know sending out more messages and emails, and you'll get some text messages, and you know we'll bug you on this one because uh, you know there'll be a date in the real in the not so far off uh, future that um, the back agent won't be you won't be able to log into it anymore. So anyway, that's kind of what, what we're doing, but it's, it's all good stuff. I think you're going to, I think everybody's going to really like uh, the new platform and what we're doing with it. So I think it's going to be really good. And what I'll do is it's, it's one o'clock. So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait a long time for other folks to jump in. We're, we're recording this. So we're going to, we're going to be able to have it where people can watch it later. And uh, that way we can respect everybody's time because I know everybody that's on the call is out there trying to write contracts. So you can't be sitting here listening to all these meetings all day yeah. long, right? Yeah, that's right. We're busy people. True story. True story. Very busy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and get over here and share my screen real quick with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into it. I'll tell you a little bit about why, and uh, isn't even though the why doesn't matter as much. I do want you to know what the reason for what we what this is and why we did it. So, so, and by the way, this is not a class about MoxieWorks. MoxieWorks is a whole different thing that is optional. You don't have to do it. You kind of, you would kind of be silly not to use it because it's, it's there and it's a, it's a huge resource that it, that's very, very valuable, but you don't have to do it. So um, we're not going to go deep into Moxie today. We're talking about uh, what you have to be able to use, which is, you know, your documents upload. And, and oh yeah, what's that other, the most important thing? What was that again? Oh yeah, the, the pay a table. That's what everybody wants to know. How do I get my money, right? <laughs> want to make sure you can get, we don't want to hold up anybody's money. So that's what we're trying to make sure we do. Um, so the, why did we, why did this happen? What is it? So back agent, we've been using back agent for, I think about mm, eight, nine years. And um, we originally went with back agent because it had, it had all of the document management pieces that we wanted. It had the ability to do um, group messaging, uh, those kind of things, pay at table authorizations. Um, and there were some things on Backagent. Backagent was relatively new when we started. And there were some things on there that we um, that maybe were told was gonna, was gonna happen, but that didn't. Um, and let me do, let me go in here and make sure we got some, uh, let's go ahead and, Adam, if you're online, I, ca I can't quite see where to do it. My, I don't, if you could uh, just mute everybody so we don't have the background noise. Um, so some of the things that we were trying to do with Backagent that, that were promised that didn't happen were things like some of the things that Moxie does for us now, actually. They, they told us it was going to do 
uh, lead management. They told us it was going to do, uh, they were going to build in the CRM mod module, um, a lot of things like that that just never happened. And they ended up, they ended up getting bought out uh, by, I forgot who, who bought them first. I want to say it was maybe Lion Desk or someone. And then they got bought out again by Property Base. And every time they got bought out, we got a new group of people that would come in making promises and they never did uh, the things that we wanted to do. So, so last year, you know, right on about this time, we started really looking deeper into the other platforms out there. We looked at um, KB Core, we looked at MoxieWorks, we looked at Property Base, and um, we ended up deciding on MoxieWorks because of, of all the, the great tools that it had and things for the agents and building your business. So, but the thing was MoxieWorks didn't have was it did not have the document management and the pay commission, you know, calculation to pay at table forms. They didn't have those things. So, so we said, okay, well, we're going to have to use, continue to use back agent and we'll use MoxieWorks. Well, once property base bought, bought um, back agent last summer, then they let us know that, um, that they were going to be sundowning certain features in back agent and that uh, some of those features were, were some of the main ones that we use like some of the transaction management and so um, what that meant was they were trying to push us to use property base as a whole but we had already decided on moxie so what that put us in a position to do was I went to Chris, who Chris is on the call now. Um, so Chris, if you guys haven't met him, Chris Alexander, he is um, he's our he's our computer guy. He's the one that that has built you know all our websites for us, the school, not just the public side, but the back end management system, which is which is state of the art. It's amazing system that we kind of created from scratch, and and Chris has built it. So I go to Chris and I said, Chris, we got a problem. Back agent is going to be eliminating some of the main features that we use. And I really don't want to, you know, buy another system that we're going to have to train on and only to be limited by their, uh, their restrictions. So we just, we just built, rebuilt a back agent system. And, and what I told Chris was, I said, I want it to be, I want it to look like, I want it to be very, very similar to back agent. And so that the feel and the, the functionality and all the things that we do from the document uploads to the commission uh, disbursements and things, I want it to look and feel as the same because, you know, I, I know us as agents, nobody on this call, all you guys on this call, all you're, ve you're very good about embracing change. You're like, something's changing. That's awesome. I'm excited about it. What is it? But some of the, some agents, not you guys, but some agents are like, we hate change. We don't want to change. Don't change anything. You know that. So, so I wanted to make sure that for those folks, not for you guys, but for those folks, that we tried to make it as similar as we could to to what what it has been. So, when I show this to you, it, it's so similar that you you may not even be able to tell the difference in the, in the in the screen. So, all right. So let me get up here and I'll show you a little bit. So the the main thing before we get into We can't hear you. It, it randomly muted me. I don't know what happened. How about that? That was actually my bad, Shane. Sorry. We, we had some folks who hadn't unmuted and there oh, was some oh, background right. noise. So I, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> you know what it is? Marshall just got tired of hearing me talk. That's what it was. I know how it is. Uh, okay. So. Oh, no. So, um, so what this is, we wanted to, we wanted to have a place where a one central place where everybody could go to and, and not be difficult to remember so that, you know, because, because what's going to happen is you're going to have, if you use MoxieWorks, you're going to have a login for MoxieWorks and MoxieWorks is a system in, a, in and of itself. And then everything to do with our transactions and documents and closing is a different, is going to be a different login. So we didn't want you to have to remember multiple websites to go to. So this is what we created. We created a, a single page. This is the address. Okay. And by the way, you guys don't have to write this down. We're going to be, believe me, we're going to be sending out lots of emails, text messages. There's going to be, you're going to, you're going to be sick of hearing about this before, before, uh, before it happens. But just so you remember, this is the address of, that we're going to be using that everybody can, once you remember this, you won't have to go anywhere else. And it's just, theamericanrealty.com forward slash 
pub. And no, it doesn't matter if it's capitalized or lower caps or anything. You just can't put the W's, no W's. Um, I'm not gonna go into a long description of why, uh, just know that you can't do it, okay? If you put them in there, it won't go to the right place. So that's gonna be the main thing that we want you to remember is the address and no W's. If you can remember that, everything else is gonna be easy, easy breezy. So this is where it goes when you type in the hub. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a similar feel to what back agent was, but the nice thing now is we can make it, we can customize it. So we can make it what we want it to be. We can move things around and you'll probably see, you know, it kind of morph a little bit over the next, you know, months ahead as we continue to make it better and, you know, hear what, what, what agents are, are, are saying the feedback and make, and coming up with ideas. So, so when you go to that, that domain name, which is, what we said again, the American realty.com forward slash hub. This is where it's going to take you. And let me move this down here. So as you'll notice, there's no login to get to this page. This is a public page, which means you're going to be able to get into it. Unlike back agent where you, once you go to back agent, you had to know your login to get to anything else like the announcements or the classes. So we decided since there's going to be two different systems that you may have to log into, we're going to we're going to make the main landing page to be um, public. So now you can go to this page right now. You can type it in your computer, the AmericanRealty.com forward slash hub, and this is what you're going to see. And and so now, the nice thing about this is you can come to this page and get to anything else that you need in the, for the whole company. So right away. You're going to be able to yeah, see, and, and by the way, these are not live events. So uh, I know this is saying February. These some of this data in here is is um, you know mock data that we created so that we could demo. But basically, you'll be able to see the, the classes over here, and they'll be what you'll see is the the next one or two classes coming up. And then Chris added has already added this view all events button. So then when you click that, it should open up uh, everything in our class, all our classes. Now this is again this is demo data but but when you click on that that will take you to every class or event coming up it could be a lunch and learn it might be you know um hub training now we're going to call it hub not my back agent so everything will be on that page and listed here and then other things like here's a moxie training you can get right into that these are announcements this is, these are older announcements just for information purposes but you'll notice here like these are grayed out so you have anything that requires a password for, we don't want the public necessarily into is going to require this login. So now what that's going to be is you will get a new login. This is one of the processes because we won't have the back agent, you know, login. We don't we don't have your passwords and things for log for back agent. So what's going to happen is you'll get you'll be getting notices about the, the changeover and also about your login. And it's most likely going to be your email address that we have in the system and then some kind of uh, set um, a password that until you log in, then it will ask you to change it. So I'm not gonna get deep into that because right now I'm just kind of showing you what it's gonna look like, but I'm gonna show you real quick the transactions and how, how that looks. So when you hit login on transactions, it's gonna take you to a login screen. And again, we're gonna send you the information on that. So it will be in, instead of your back agent login. Once you log in there, so I want to show I want to show you how similar this this platform looks from back agent. So that's back agent. This is our new system. Almost no difference. Only difference is mainly is you don't see the images of the listings over here because we haven't haven't connected the MLS systems to our system. So it may just be this this icon for most of the listings. But as you can see, very very similar in every way. And the process is very similar. When you hit add a transaction, you're not going to really notice much of a difference at all. It's going to give you very similar process. The you know, same buttons, the same questions you had before. There is one major difference, and I'm going to show you all that. And we'll we'll get it deeper into training later. This is really more about just um, just seeing that it's there. So I'm not going to really really get go to deep dive in this. Um, but I will show you the one difference that you'll that you'll need to to be aware of. So the only main difference in the platform that we have versus what you are used to is gonna be, you're not gonna be able to, um, when you go to upload a PDF, 
you know, where before, if you had one PDF that had your purchase and sale agreement and your financing exhibit and your seller's disclosure all in one PDF, when you went to upload it, it, it went into a platform where it showed you the pages and then you could select which page. This system does not have that capability the same as, as Backagent did. So what it is, but the good news is, it's actually maybe a little bit better. So you can see here, there's your required documents and everything. And I have the option of, of just clicking on here and, and um, attaching a document. But now we have the op option of attaching multi-document multi file. So what that means is you won't have to split up the documents anymore. If you have a document that has your purchase and sale agreement and your seller's disclosure and your FHA exhibit, you can now attach the whole PDF and just mark the documents that's included and then submit it. So you don't have to then split it all up. So we don't have the same functionality, but we're making it a little bit more convenient. So now it's just gonna be where you, I'm gonna try to see if it's, if it's functional yet. So there's your multi-document file. It tells you which ones are recommended and then you have an other. So let's say I'm gonna go, this is a purchase and sale agreement. Um, and then maybe it's a copy of earnest money check as well. And then maybe it's a uh, you know, legal description, something that's not even listed. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I th I like this. Honestly, like kind of like this better because of the, all the document stuff got a little confusing and, and time consuming. Yeah. And then if you have another document, we have that he added this add another line. So you may have four or five documents that aren't really listed in our typical documents that you may just have a copy of and you can just keep adding as many as you need and then just hit upload file. So now all those documents are going to be uploaded one time. And I'm just going to pick one. Just to, just to put it in there, it's no longer going to show you a, dim, a you know illustration of what's in the PDF. So you'll have to know what it is before you upload it. But then once you do that, you hit save document, and it's going to put those in. It's going to mark those documents as completed. So you see how now purchase and sale and earnest money check are both marked. And but then, if for some reason we needed to pull, like say it's all one document, but if we needed to pull just the finance contingency or something, we can't do that, right? That is right. Now, if you need to do that, you'll need to split that document off before you upload it and then you get uploaded individually. So yeah, it is, it is gonna be referencing the same document um, that you uploaded. So even though these are all gonna be marked as, as on file, at this time, you know, those, that's gonna be the same PDF for each one of those, so, you'll have, so it won't be separated. That makes sense. So you're saying I've got one PDF and it's and it and it covers these three documents. So these three documents are going to be marked as completed. But if you go back and pull up the document from those three, it's going to be the entire PDF. If that, so if that, where it says legal description, it's going to be the whole, it's going to be the whole file. Document. Yeah, because we because we haven't split it apart. Now the option you have is you know there's ways you can go in and and split those off yourself. And by the way, I, just one little tip, one little trick, if you if you wanted to do that. So you can go into a PDF that has multiple documents. You can hit print. And when you hit print, it's gonna say, which printer do you want? You can select PDF. And then you can say print only pages one through five and save that as purchase and sale. So it's an easy way you can do that if you wanted to. Um, but so that is that is one of the limitations, but one of the benefits that we, we plugged in. And there may be a point in time where we may find a solution to be able to do that. But for right now, that's what it's gonna be. So it's gonna be, that's the, really the biggest difference. Everything else is gonna look and feel almost exactly the same in your transaction, all the way down to the submit button, all the way down to, you know, creating your pay at table form, everything. So it's gonna be very similar. We're gonna be doing, um, you know, Q and A and training and all of that once we switch over, but it's not gonna be a lot of a learning curve because it's, if you've done it before, it's gonna be very similar. So um, that's oh, good. That Chris has still got this link here so oh, okay. that it links over to back agents to, for oh, now okay. and, and let, let we'll talk about the transition really quick so that you guys you know can understand what's going to happen so by the way another good great news that Chris was able to do for us all is so all of the documents from back agent are all going to be transferred over to the new system so any of your old files, they're all going to be there. Particularly, it's going to be important when you're in the middle of a transaction. So if you have a, a, a contract that's pending, then that's going to be very sensitive because of when, where are you going to be uploading your documents? But all the documents are going to be transferred over to the new system, over to Hub. 
And that way, when you go into Hub, it's going to be right there. You just you click on it, and all your documents that you had before are already there. Um, the main challenge we're going to have is for contracts that are pending. Once we do the changeover, which we're going to we're going to look at doing uh, June the first, which is next Wednesday, right? That's June the first. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, back agent is not going to be shut off. We're going to we're going to not shut it off, and we're going to make because sometimes some people not like all you great awesome agents you guys came to the training and you and, and the announcement some agents will be like what happened well i didn't know about this new thing so we're going to be doing announcements and text messages and all these things and then as of june the first we want you guys to start logging into the new system and putting your documents there luckily in back agent there's a way we can tell if someone logs into the to the back agent and uploads a document then then we will go in and take that document and manually put it into the new system on behalf of that agent. And then we'll call that agent politely and say, hey, great job, but you're not using the right system. So I want to make sure you got the right link. That's the first call. Second call, you know, may not be as nice. I'm just kidding. Um, but we're going to be trying to make sure everybody's doing, you know, going in the right system, but we can monitor. They won't be they won't be missing documents. You know, we're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna be a situation where somebody uploads a document to the wrong system and then it's missing forever. We have a record of every document that's ever uploaded. So there's no way that we can lose those documents. Um, one of the other issues is we're gonna be, you know, we're going back and grabbing all the old data from back agent, but we've had it for, you know, nine years now. So there's a lot of data and we're prioritizing the last three years because obviously real estate commission requires us to keep three years so we're going to make sure we, we have that in the system is our first priority. And then we'll probably go back and start pulling in the older data eventually, you know, and continue to add that. But we want to make sure we're compliant with, with the Real Estate Commission. And so as of June the 1st is going to be our, our switchover date to where we want everyone to use the, the, the new hub. But we're not, then we're still going to leave it active for everybody to log into the old system if they need to or forget or whatever. Uh, and then we're looking at June the 15th as the final date for then at that point, your logins will stop working. That means the, the system is still there. So we have to go back in and find something or do something. But we want to make sure we give you guys, you know, a good two weeks of, of learning and remembering to go to the new system. And before we kind of pull the rug out, because we know what's going to happen on the 15th. Even though we were messaging and doing all these things, they're going to be there's going to be some agent. None, none of you guys, but you guys are, are the are the are the head of the curve people. But there will be folks calling the office going, "I can't get into back agent," and we'll be like, "No, you can't." So yeah, we're glad you called. You know that kind of thing. So um, the, name, the name. So basically, back agent is a is a is a platform that is a company that that creates that. So our system, even though it does the same feature. We're, it's not called back agent. So we're, we're, we're calling it the hub and that's where everything is. And we're just calling it transaction section. So in our hub, you're going to have the announcements, the class links, uh, we're going to have a button for agent support so that, uh, and there's also tech support, you know, Adam's going to be available for tech support too, uh, for people who have, you know, problems. We're going to do, you know, more consistent, uh, weekly Q and A sessions and like open uh, live Zoom meetings that people can jump into if they're stuck on whatever it could be they're not sure how something works or whatever. Um, but we're not going to we're, we're going to try to make it where it's just easily accessible. Like here's here's a technical support button, and then when you click there, it gives you all the all the instructions on how to um, submit a ticket or reach out to Adam or whatever the process, so we can get you any support you need on Moxie or or the hub, either one. Um, the other thing we did, which is cool, we're going to be making some adjustments to it, but we have the agent handbook that's actually now going to be accessible on the hub. So if you click it, it creates, a, it opens up like a, what they call it, it's a flip book. It's a software that kind of plugs in. And now you can, uh, you can go in and see uh, the handbook. And now, and right now, this is the Georgia handbook. So it's not, it's not exactly the last one we're going to be using for uh, Florida and South Carolina, et cetera. But you can go through it. And, this is what it, for some of the folks who've been in the company for a long time, they may not have ever seen this because we we created it and developed it over the last couple of years, and um, so yeah, there's some there's a lot of folks on Zoom 
that are probably looking at this going, what is that? We, I didn't know we had any uh, vision and missions. <laughs> so, so all this is uh, the, the handbook that we give out to agents as they join the company now. So, and, and resources and who's who and all of those things. So, so this, that's pretty cool. The main thing we tried to do too was no matter where you go in the hub, we wanted this banner here to be there so you can always get back to where you wanna be. And if you click on the logo or the, the word hub, it's gonna take you back to the main page. And then if you notice up here, the Moxie works, it's a, it's a drop down. So if you hover over that, it gives you all your Moxie products. So again, if you guys are using it, this is where you go to find it. Now you will have to log into Moxie separately, but um, and if you're not using it, then it's not in your way, uh, but it's a little, maybe it's a little memory jogger that maybe you, sh maybe you should be using it or you should try to. So, um, so that's the, that was the biggest part of it. The main announcements for today was really that it's going to be a new link. It's going to look and feel very similar, but I feel like it's better. Uh, I feel like we, we have, we have the ability to make it more how we want it and change what we want. If someone, literally, if someone makes a suggestion and says, well, why don't you do this? If we think it's a good idea, uh, we, we send it in and, and we can actually just make the change, you know, Chris can do it for us. So it's nice to be able to, to be able to control the system and make it what we want it to be exactly, not just what we would like it, you know, take whatever someone else has and try to make it work. So, um, so with all that, does any, does anybody have any particular questions I want to ask? We're going to be doing more, you know, we're going to be announcing the more announcements. It will be doing training, but it's not going to be a whole lot of training. It's just going to be a resource. You guys have to remember the, lo the location of the, the site. Other than that, it shouldn't be a whole lot of uh, specific training for the hub. Anybody have any, any questions about it? The American Realty, no W's. Correct. It's theamericanrealty.com forward slash hub, no W's. And I'll show it on the screen again. That's, that's the actual address. And you can go there now, by the way. You just, you just won't be able to log into uh, the document center and all of that because it's not live. But you can go there and start just kind of getting familiar with it. One little trick I'll tell you that I did that that's really nice is it's also uh, it's, it's being formatted to be mobile friendly. So when you go to it on your phone, it'll work. So what I did was I just went to that website on my, uh, on my phone and in Safari. And then once I saw that got the website up, I hit the little, there's a little square at the bottom of the page. There's a little square with an arrow. And um, I'll show you what I did. Uh, let's see here. Here it is. So, so this is, this is, I'll see if I can sh show you guys. I'll turn off the, um, the share button real quick. Oh, I did turn it off. Okay. So let's turn off the share. There we go. So this right here on my phone, this is the hub. I think it's blurred me out, isn't it? Well, that's not going to work because I've got a I got blur on my screen there. Let me see if I can turn that off. Blur my background. How about that? There we go. So this is the hub on my phone, and what I did is at the bottom on on iPhone anyway. If you click on this little button here, the little square with the arrow, I click on that. It's going to say where do you want to send it, and then you scroll up and say add it to my home screen right there. I don't know. Is it backwards for you guys? Anyway, you can add it to your home screen. So now on my home screen, there's just a button right there that I can click on and we'll pull it straight up to the hub automatically. So little cool things like that that you can do so you can get to it faster. But um, anybody else have any, any particular questions about the stuff we talked about today? Uh, Shane, we had a question on the chat about uh, uh, submitting um, you know, funding requests, closing requests. Right. And that's going to be the exact same. So once you get into the document section or the transaction section, it's the same process. You get your, your documents done, they get approved, you hit submit, it gives you the exact same form, and you really won't probably notice any difference at all uh, on the process. So it's, um, it's going to be the same process, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to send the, the, the um, request in to Amelia. Once Amelia approves it, it's going to be able to email back to you and I believe the attorney too at the same time. So it's going to be the same experience, really. The biggest thing you guys are going to have to remember is just I've got to go to theamericanrealty.com forward slash hub instead of my back agent. You know, so if you go to the right page and you save it in your in your you know book market or your favorites or whatever, now you you know you can go to there uh, directly there and you won't be going to the wrong page by accident. You know.
Very good. Under that document tab. Under the, under the document yeah. tab that's going to be on there, how it's spent. I mean, we're talking like how many options you have? You mean the choices? So you mean it's for your transaction? Yeah, what are y'all putting in there? I mean, like so basically what, what what he's done so far is put in the documents that were already in the system for required documents and suggested documents. There's that other page that has lots and lots and lots of options that uh, we haven't added that page yet, but that's when we have the other. So you can you can list whatever you. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant the uh, document form. That other little tab, like you said, go into to the transactions, and mm -hmm. you've got that other little spot that says document. The forms are going to be like, is that like? I don't know. I saw what you're saying. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull it up, and I'll I'll see if I can understand what you're saying here. Let's see. Here. So you mean from here? Right. Document oh, here, sorry. This, this, oh, this document center here, this was, um, and we're probably going to retitle this because it was what is named in back agent, but that's where all of our logos and resources and all that were. We're probably going to make change that to resource center or something like that, where that's where you would go and, you know, get your logos and different things, W9s and, things. W9s and okay. all those things. Okay. So that's going to be um, probably retitled, but that's also password protected because, uh, again, this page is public. So anyone with this address can go to this page so we just left the things that we don't really mind anyone seeing like our announcements fine you know, we're probably going to make the agent handbook uh, also password protected because I, I, at first i wasn't going to and then someone reminded me well there's door codes on there and then i'm like ah good point we probably we it probably doesn't need to be public so uh so we're gonna probably do that then we have vendor connections we'll have our agent uh, vendors agent training this is going to link out to american real estate university class schedules uh, the printing portal, that's something that Moxie is doing. That's coming. That's going to come soon where we can um, order different things and signs and shirts and things like that. So, you know, a lot of this stuff is some of this stuff is still in progress. So we're but that's the nice thing is now that we have our own platform, we can continue to make this, you know, better and, and make changes to it. So, yeah. All right. Well, see, it wasn't it wasn't like earth shattering. Nothing major is happening, but just mainly going to have to be make sure we go into the right link, right? It's a relocation. It's a relocation, right? We're just doing a little move down the street. That's all. Can you get to right. Mox? Can you get to Moxie through the AmericanRealty.com without the www? Can you get into Moxie um, through that app on your phone? Yes. Yes, uh, basically it's, it's going to be formatted mobile. So either you go to desktop or the or the phone, and it will both. You know, you'll be able to see it all. And then when you go here, it'll uh, it'll show that. Now on the phone, let me see. There we're we he's been reconfiguring it just since literally yesterday when we had our uh, first little meeting about about it, and we we're trying to reconfigure some of the things on the mobile version of it because it's a little bit uh, more complex to try to make these things fit. But since the, we've been reformatting it, it now, you know, some of the things aren't there that, that were, but there it's still gonna be continued to be reformatted. Oh, there it is. That's reformatted. Yeah, I think what's happening now, if I'm right, Chris, if you're here, you can kind of tell me, but I believe we're gonna be putting the, the Moxie links. Is that gonna be in the three dots in the top of the page if you, of the- uh... Yes, it'll be there in that menu. Okay, that's what I thought. So, um, so if you guys can see now, this is what uh, the, the the page looks like now on mobile, and it and it will continue to evolve and get more efficient. But what it'll be is the Moxie links that you see on the desktop that are normally here. They'll be this little three dots right here. When you hit that, that will show you your Moxie link. So we're we're kind of configuring it. Mobile is so complicated because all these things on the de desktop screen. You know, it looks really nice and it's even and formatted and everything looks good. When you try to go to a this kind of a screen, you have to decide what's going to be on top. And, you know, you have to more make them this way than that way. And it makes it um, more challenging. But I think we're going to end up uh, putting the Moxie links in the little three dots up there at the top, top right hand corner so that you can get to it. But, yeah, that's the idea is that whether you're on your phone or you're on your desktop, all you need to do is get to the hub. And then everything you need is there, even down to, um, you know, support and people, you know, knowing who who's doing what roles support wise and how to reach them, phone numbers, you know, emails, things like that. We're trying to make it all uh, just easy. That's the idea, right? You got enough, you guys got enough work out there to do. You don't need to work to try to figure out how to 
how to you know, do your office software too, right? All right, anybody else have any, any thoughts? And by the way, we're gonna be, as we get into this, you guys are in there, if you see something that you, that isn't working right. That, now, right now, there's going to be links that aren't working right in there. They're not all live. But as we get to June the 1st, if you see things or have a, a ideas or suggestions, you know, send them in because we're going to be continually improving the platform and making it better. So, everybody good? Well, it was great to see some of your faces and a lot of your names and just an, <laughs> just as. And, and some voices, right? Just to, it's really neat to see, uh, you know, as we continue to grow, uh, everybody in all the different places we're in is really exciting. So I'm excited uh, about uh, what's coming in the rest of this year and next year and beyond. So good. Awesome, awesome. Well, I think we'll, this system, I think this system um, will be easy enough to use. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the main thing. I, well, we wanted it to be easy and we wanted it to be simple everybody knows if everybody knows my rules legal simple fair got to be those three so we want to make sure it's simple and you don't have to remember you know four or five different websites to go to and all of that we want it to be uh easy so that's the goal all right just so everyone knows the back agent training is transitioning to hub training and adam will take that on for Liz next time. <laughs> yeah, for the, at least the first one, and maybe you guys can uh, can continue to teach after that. But make sure that you know you don't get any curveballs thrown at you and hiccups and things, right? So, but good. Yeah, it's a, it's a process, and there will be there will be a little hiccups here and there. But I, I'm really excited that we we this has been something I wanted to do uh, for years was to build our own platform so that we're not restricted by you know what some other national company says is is important what's not important and uh it's really pretty cool now that we have the control over the whole uh hub and the platform that we can really build what we want to build and we're going to continue to add more more cool things to it so i'm excited yeah go to the hub go to the hub that's right and believe me you'll be getting lots of emails and text messages to remind you so it, it won't be it won't sneak up on you it'll be You'll be like, I get it. I get it, Shane. Unsubscribe. I'm just kidding. No one unsubscribes when I send stuff, hopefully. <laughs> just remember, if you unsubscribe, then you won't get anything else in the future. So remember that. Hesitate before you unsubscribe. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, guys. If anybody wants to hang on, hang out and ask any questions or talk, um, I'll be here for a little while. Uh, I don't. My next Zoom meeting is not until 2.30, Melissa. We have a 2.30 Zoom uh, with New American Funding. So. Awesome. Well, I'm here if anybody has any questions. Otherwise, you guys go sell something. <laughs> Bye, guys. Going back to the hub. Yeah. Um, we're back agent. I mean, we just not have finished doing it yet, but like it had inbox, but there was no like tasks. Mm, so and tasks and things like that. Yeah. But those are things we're trying to decide whether we're going to add that or what what's, what's needed for that and how we're going to do it. Um, the inbox does work, and Amelia also set it up to where you can e email your documents into the system. You know, with your with your right, email your address. Agent, yeah. yeah. So, Not a lot of people use that, but Amelia did. So. I use it. Yeah. Uh, well, so we, it's, you know, it's built. I sort of, because people right. say, you know, you send this to here, so you don't have to download it into your right. computer. Right, right, right. sending from somewhere. Yeah, and, it, and he built it out. It works just like the other one did. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a nice system. Yeah. And we, it's been, so you're not going to call it back office? You're just no, we, we're not, mainly because we, we really wanted to really, really drive the hub home so that everyone remembers that. Because really, once you get to the hub, you can go to transactions, you can right. go to wherever, you can go to people, but you've got to get to the hub. And so we figured by calling it something different would only make it more complicated because then you'd have back office, back agent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the hub, the hub. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep it moving. Hopefully yes, we'll, there won't be too many uh, hiccups when, we, when, we, when the D-Day comes, right? Well, I got connected upstairs to a different Oh, good, good, good. And Morgan said she doesn't have a, they didn't give her the instructions oh, on how didn't. to do a fair on the old one. Got it. Right. Yeah. So that may be a Lisa thing. Yeah. Okay.
Thanks, Shane. Thank you. Appreciate you, Harlan. Somebody's logged in called Truck Hour. I don't know what that is, but may, hopefully it's one of our ages and not somebody, some random person in there. But oh, that's, probably uh, that's probably Travis uh, Deal. Oh, Travis Deal, yeah. I think, yeah I or, or it could be Adam Morgan. He drives, he drives a truck. Well, it changed the truck hour. No, yeah. That's, no, that's Travis. No, it's still there. Yeah. yeah. It's a truck hour. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Or maybe Adam. I know Adam Morgan uh, is a, he he drives a truck, so it could be him. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And Melissa, if you if, I know you saw the link, but that's uh, that that Zoom will be a different meeting link, so we'll we'll jump in on that one when it's time. So. I'm new at all this and I'm on my, my iPad while the Zoom's on my laptop, but I've got a screen and I think it's the Moxie screen and it has a flag on it with a login and a password. And I've tried mm -hmm. every username I can think of. And was this the no. my name dot last name at the American Realty no. to get in or? No, the Moxie one is you, it's a separate login and that's something that, that um, Megan uh, okay. is probably sent to you or will. And if you don't have it, then Megan or Adam can help you help you get that worked out. But that's that is definitely one thing that um, that we want you to get involved in because that's that's your whole you know agent agent business you know right. dashboard. So um, yeah, if you haven't if you haven't gotten an email from the office regarding Moxie, I may have. You I may have. have yeah. I may have, and I'm going through all my start emails now, and I just can't find yeah. it. And I'm using every sequence that I would use. But right. I, I'll probably just shoot Megan an email. So that's that may be the easiest one. I don't <laughs> know if, if you can go up and search in your search bar for email, just type in Moxie. Maybe you might get it that way too. But if not, okay. then just uh, get, just contact uh, Megan and she can always send it to you or Adam, either one. Okay. Melissa, Melissa. Yes. So once you're actually added into the system, you'll receive the email invitation and you can't log in until you actually click the button in that email invitation. Okay. So what you're seeing just means that you haven't been added to the roster yet. And I pulled up the Moxie in my emails and the only thing I have is a class I took the other day. So I went back to my class notes and I'm like, there's nothing here either, but right. I've seen the screen, but I think I saw it through the training the other day, but uh, it's okay. a text her. So thanks guys. Well, so this is Adam. Hey, hey Adam. Um, I'm about to check on you and I'll send you that email um, okay. pretty quickly. Thank you so much. Very good. Melissa, did you get my message that I just saw your, your sister-in-law and your niece yes i did i hear her voice <laughs> well she she came in they had a, a her a war her um graduation haley's graduation is tomorrow and they went they borrowed our um our banner stand so they could put some stuff on it so they came Kate. in a little earlier yeah. i thought i heard her voice in the room maybe it was somebody else but no it was somebody, it was somebody else they they took off she said she had to come early because they're trying to set up for her graduation i i do have a question um because I'm familiar with Sky Slope um, yeah. Yeah. from a previous, but um, so when you, if you do a contract package and you can't split off documents, um, you say that there is a way to do it, but why wouldn't you just upload each document uh, individual so that you could separate them out easier? Why wouldn't you just do it that way instead of doing a package? Well, you can. What happens is a lot of times is, you know, as you're sending, when you send your documents over to another agent for signatures or whatever, or they send them to you and saying, hey, here's the binding contract. They may send you a PDF with all of the documents. Oh, okay. And so sometimes, sometimes agents may just have a, a bulk PDF with everything in their email. And then it, what our system used to do is you could take that one email PDF and then it would, it would show you a screen and spread out all the documents and you could say- this You could split them off. off. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the new system doesn't allow you to do that. So you either have to split them off before you before. upload them or you just upload them as a bulk. So that's kind of what it is right now. Okay, well, be fine. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, you know, just a little bit of, uh, you know, getting used to it, but folks that didn't use Backagent really, you know, will learn this and they won't, they won't know the difference. So it won't be, it won't be different. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to a student earlier that had just uh, passed the final exam here in the building and um it was interesting we had we had two instructors you know marshall taught the ninth class and and uh, linda taught the day class 
And Marshall's been been teaching this material for a long time, and and he's very comfortable with it, very familiar with it, and he teaches it great, and 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 he has a great passing rate. And Linda came in, and she had been teaching from a different book, so she just started using the material and was you know just kind of acclimating herself to it. And some of the things she didn't like the way the the materials that we were using, the way it was set up, and and so she brought in some other material. And, and, but she voiced her opinion to the class about, well, I don't really like the way this is in the book and it's confusing or whatever. And so it was interesting because this student took, took her class and she regurgitated everything that Linda had said. And she said, she said, well, this book is not, is not good. And it doesn't really explain things very well. And, and I had to keep from smiling at her, honestly, because when I, and finally I, I couldn't help it. I was smiling and she said, well, why are you smiling? And I said, well, I'm only smiling because, you know, a lot of what you stated was your expectation. You, what you expected is what you found. In other words, because Linda said those words to you, it made you question the, the integrity of the material. And I said, but zero students that came from Marshall's class had any problem with the materials because Marshall didn't say those things and therefore you didn't believe it. So when you believe something, it's hard to not hear it. You know, you, you say, well, there's a proof of it, right? So anyway. So yeah, if you've used back agent before and now the new system, you know, some things you may not like about it because of the difference, because of what your expectations are. But if you've never used it, then you're going to say, this is great. It's honestly, speaking of your, your, your sister-in-law, it's honestly like um, when Beverly first got her license, she got her license during the crash. I may have already told you this, but she came in, you know, in like 09, which was awful. All the agents who had been in the business, you know, prior to the crash were miserable. They were like, this, all, this market's awful. I hate it. You know, it's ridiculous. You know, I'm selling these houses for, you know, $15,000. I can't make any money. This is awful. But the agents who got in the business during the crash didn't know the difference. So Beverly was like, oh, this is great. I just made, you know, $1,500 commission. And then everybody else was like, oh, that's ridiculous. And she's like, wow, it was great. And so I remember when the first time she had a closing that was had the seller actually in the building. And uh, I was in, in my office next to the conference room. And she had the buyers and the sellers in the room together, and which was not normal for short sales, you know, and foreclosures. And so she comes in my office and she goes, she goes, knocks on my door. I said, yeah. She goes, she goes, hey, she goes, the seller's in there. And I said, yeah. She goes, it's weird. And I said, no, that's normal. Okay. What you've been doing for the last five years has been weird. That's normal. That's what you're supposed to have. You've been doing it weird. She didn't know it because you'd never been to a closing with a seller actually present. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, I actually still, I don't think I've got anyone, I think I've still hold the record for the cheapest house ever sold. I sold a house off Washington Street for $3,500. So I'm not, the only person that's ever beat me was from Michigan. I told them Detroit don't count. They, they were giving houses away. <laughs> okay, I think we've got some folks that maybe just uh, have it on, but don't realize we're done. So I think we're done. All right, this, I'll let everybody, anybody this have any is questions? I actually have one for Adam um, since we're all still here. Um, I got the reset password request, but when I log in, so just go ahead and reset the password from this link and then, yeah. okay. All right, thank you. Then you will most, you will use that same email address as your login ID. The one that you sent me to confirm, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate no, no, no. it. No problem. And I would recommend my recommendation is if uh, we're going to use email for logging into our our system as well. So it may be a good idea to make your password the same so that you, you don't have to remember two passwords. So your login should be the same. Hopefully your password will be too. Or else you're going to be going, which one was which, you know. So, all right. I will. Melissa, I'll see you here in about, about 45 minutes. And Sounds great. Else? I'll, okay. I'll see you later. Have a good day.